Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to create a simple steel frame in SOLIDWORKS with the help of weldment tools and here we will learn some features like structural member, trim extend, end cap, gussets, hole wizard. So let's see how to make this simple structure in SOLIDWORKS. This is a good example for the beginners. Here let's make a steel frame with the help of SOLIDWORKS weldment tool. So this is the our practice exercise. Now here 1000 by 2000 millimeter is the frame size and this is outer dimension. And uh, then we will create 300 by 300 L shape here along the with the help of uh, dimension of 700 millimeter. And here in the table you will see the rectangle tube 120 into 80 into 8 millimeter. This is the size of tube. We use common tube and these are the dimensions and these are the quantity. So here the things are same. This side is just a mirror 300 by 300 you will see here. This upper length is 300 millimeter but from the center point. I will show you how. So let us make this frame first. There is two different kinds of here mid joint and here another joint. So right click tabs and click here weldments. Go to weldments and click 3D sketch. I will choose top plane center rectangle. Now let us say 1000 enter 2000 2000 enter right click exit now this is not fully defined if you select this one and you have to define the direction so this is z axis along z axis see this is defined that's it line I will connect here, go upside 300, enter. Press tab key and see it change the dimension and go inside 300, enter. Exit. Three hundred enter. Three hundred enter. Exit. This dimension is 700 millimeter. See the lines are fully defined. So that's it. Simply exit. Now this is the our main geometry. So let's go to weldments. Structural member. First we will assign frame. ISO standard. We will use here rectangle tube configured. And this is the R tube size 120 into 8, to, into 8 millimeter. Now first group, I will select one. Now see this is, uh, okay this is the side. Uh, this is vert vertical, we want horizontal. So here defined angle 90, okay. Then we need to make dimensions from outside. So click here locate profile and click this outer point. See it moves inside. Now, I will select this two unchecked, then start to select from here, click here end meter joint, see, if I am going to choose this one, you will see the preview, see, it is going to happen in one closed square. Say yes. Now look. This is perfect perspective. Now again a structural member. The same dimension we will keep. First group I will say this one. Again location I will select this end point. See it moves. I 
I'll select the upper edge. Now here I'll keep corner treatment and meter. Say yes. Now look. But this is little inside. So we have option called end trim. Now here choose end trim, boundaries to trim. I'll choose this frame. And here two options. First I'll see face. I'll select this face. We want to trim up to this face. See here, discard and keep. Keep this one. Say yes. Now look, it's trimmed. Now again, edit. Here add new group. location see it's moved I'll choose this one now here we have option called but so I'll choose this see 300 length and this is also 300 length say yes now you will see the same conditions arrived here trim I'll choose this one. Now this time I'll select body. So I'll choose this one. Again here select keep. It's trimmed. That's so simple. Now let's. Uh, now here if you check there is a. Gusset. 150 by 150. Thickness you will see 100. In both sides. Then there is one end cap at the top, 5 millimeter thick, here also this 3 and 5 millimeter. So let's add gusset. We have to choose two phase, one, two, see it's going to happen here, size, we will choose triangle, 150. 150. Now here keep thickness both side. 10 millimeter. Say yes. Look. Let's mirror this. Right plane feature, I'll choose this one and it's going to happen. Okay, sorry. Keep body and keep this one. Say yes. Okay, it's mirror. Now, let's see how to add end cap. I'll choose this frame. Thickness 5 millimeter and here ratio we will keep 0 0.5. 0 0.5 means it is lies at the center of this. This is the thickness ratio, 0.5. Corner treatment, let's say 12 millimeter. It's going to perfectly align. Now let's add some more faces. One, two. Okay, now let's try to mirror. Mirror. Front plane. First, let me choose these frames. If we keep separate body, then it's going to be perfectly. See? Okay, now look, it's perfectly mirror. Now here you will see there is one rectangle flange 250 by 200 millimeter and the corner radius are 20 and there is 20 diameter 4 holes and the hole lies on the center of this. So this is the last part of the structure 
select back surface, sketch, center rectangle. Let's choose this point 200 tap 250. That's it. Extruded boss base and the thickness keep end condition blind 20 millimeter. Fill it. I'll choose one end and you will get options to so select this and all four edges going to select 20 millimeter. Say yes. Hole wizard. Keep here hole metric. Drill side and keep diameter 20 and here end condition keep through all. Position, select this face and just keep your cursor near edge and you will find center point of this edge. Repeat for all edges. Escape key to out and you will easily see. That's it. Now let's mirror. Front plane, I'll choose this. Okay. Now it's mirror. Again, right plane, front mirror, right plane. Keep bodies. Bodies makes things are more easier compared to features. Okay. Look. So this is how we did a simple tutorial in SOLIDWORKS with the help of weldment tools and here we created a simple steel frame. I hope you like it. Don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.